Good morning, students. Hoping that you are fine. Today, we'll discuss about hormones, human hormones, uh, endocrine systems, and the function of those hormones that secretes from endocrine system or endocrine gland. So let's start the class for today. So the, our first question would be, what is endocrine system? What is their function? What do they do in our body? Okay. So endocrine system uh, is a network of glands in our body. And uh, they secrete some hormones. And these hormones are responsible for almost every cell, organ and function in our body. That means if our endocrine system isn't healthy, we might have problems developing during puberty, getting pregnant or managing stress. You also might get uh, uh, weight gain, easily have weak bones or lack energy because too much sugar stays in your blood instead of moving into your cells where it's needed for energy. A gland that is an organ that makes and puts out hormones that do a specific job in our body. That is a gland. Okay, A gland that is an organ that makes and puts out hormones, that hormone do a specific job in our body. And endocrine gland is that kind of gland that doesn't have any kind of duct, that don't have any specific duct. They secretes hormones and or they releases hormones. These hormones go one side of the body to the another side of the body with bloodstream okay so what's the function of endocrine system uh, actually uh, these endocrine glands or endocrine hormones are controlling all our moods growth development metabolism and as well as reproduction Okay, these are the main functions of endocrine system. As I said, the everything that are uh, occurring in your body is happened just because of this endocrine glands or endocrine hormones. So here I have uh, written some name of some endocrine glands. You can see it here in the screen. Pituitary gland thyroid gland, parathyroid gland, thymus gland, adrenal gland, islets of Langerhans, gonad or reproductive gland. Now we will discuss about these glands, where is their function and why they are so important for us, what kind of hormones they secrete in our body. We'll discuss about them right now. So, first of all, it will be start from pituitary gland. Pituitary gland is located just below the hypothalamus of our brain. Pituitary gland is called the master of all glands, the master of all glands or you may call it king of all glands it's the shortest or the smallest gland in our body the smallest but the function of it the things uh, the things that are controlling by pituitary glands are huge the hormone it produces effect growth and reproduction they can also 
control the function of other endocrine glands that means it's a gland that can control other glands like thyroid glands parathyroid glands some other glands okay so what are the uh, hormones they secrete there are some major hormones secretes from pituitary glands or released from pituitary glands such as luteinizing hormone follicle stimulating hormone prolactin growth hormone thyroid stimulating hormone or tsh oxytocin anti diuretic hormone so these are the some major hormones that releases from pituitary gland and they keep up part in reproduction growth childbirth breastfeeding hormone regulation etc so next it would come to thyroid gland what is thyroid gland thyroid gland is located in front part of your neck it is very important for our metabolism uh, we know metabolism is a thing that uh, how we produce energy inside of our body how we do uh, the inside uh, different uh, organic reactions inside of our body that is uh, combinedly called metabolism so there are some uh, major hormones that releases from thyroid glands are triiodothyronine thyroxine calcitonin etc and what's the influence of these thyroid hormones they keep a very important role in metabolism and uh, to develop our bone that means it has a, a very important uh, influence in our bone health next it's parathyroid gland what is parathyroid gland it is also located in the front of our neck the parathyroid gland is important for maintaining control of calcium levels in our bones and blood as you know our bone is made of definitely uh, made of calcium and some other uh, crystals calcium magnesium iron these are very uh, helpful uh, parts of our bones so parathyroid glands are controlling of calcium levels in our bones and blood so what kind of hormones uh, they secrete or they release the major hormones that releases from parathyroid gland is parathyroid hormone and it controls calcium levels and vitamin d regulations in our body you might know vitamin d also has a influence when uh, bone structures are forming in our body so that is parathyroid hormone our next hormone is thymus hormone uh, so what is thymus hormone and what is their uh, function thymus hormone or uh, thymus gland located in the upper torso in the upper torso uh, there is a gland called thymus gland the thymus is active until puberty and produces hormones important for the development of a type of white blood cell called a t cell t cell is a kind of white blood cell uh, i think you have uh, read it in the blood formation uh, t b cell t cell these are kind of lymphocyte cell uh, inside of white blood cell or wbc and thymus uh, thymus gland actually it is a uh, active until we uh, grow up until we grow up but when we uh, grow up uh, it totally absent in our body okay and then comes to uh, adrenal gland so one adrenal gland can be found 
on top of each kidney that means we have two kidneys in our body uh, in our abdominal cavity or in our backside uh, and as we have two kidneys that means we have two adrenal glands in our body these glands produce hormones important for regulating functions such as blood pressure heart rate and stress response so what's the uh, hormones that releases from adrenal glands adrenaline noradrenaline cortisol aldosterone these are the major hormones releases from adrenal glands and the functions has already been told again just remember stress response blood pressure salt control these are the functions of adrenal glands okay so our next topic is islets of langerhans uh, or you may call it uh, islets of langerhans is a part of uh, our pancreas pancreas is a mixed gland uh, one part of it has endocrine gland that is named as islets of langerhans and another part of it is named as exocrine glands that means enzymes are releasing from this part uh, so islets of langerhans uh, is a part where we can get some hormones so islets of langerhans are located in our abdomen behind our stomach or inside of pancreas its endocrine function involves controlling blood sugar levels what are the hormones that release the release insulin glucagon polypeptide and some other hormones but remember one thing when you have high sugar levels in your blood that insulin converts this glucose into glycogen and reserves it in your liver but when you have lack of glucose in your blood that glu- glycogen in your liver can be converted into glucose by the help of glucagon and come to your blood again and balanced the blood sugar level that's how these hormones controlling our blood sugar levels and finally here comes about gonad or reproductive gland so gonad or reproductive gland means uh, this gland is actually uh, situated in the ovary of a female uh, and in the testis of a male you can see it in the uh, right side of the screen in the uh, diagram testis of a male and ovaries of a female and this hormone secreted from the glands control development of sex organs and secondary sexual characters it also controls the development of the reproductive cycle and reproductive behavior okay it also uh, in mature males and females reproductive organs produce testosterone and estrogen respectively okay testosterone and estrogen respectively these are the hormones that develops male and female characteristics instead of a human being that's how these reproductive glands work so that was the dis- discussion of today uh, i have tried my best to discuss uh, about this endocrine glands and their hormones and of course about their functions still if you have, if you have any question uh, regarding this you are always welcome to ask so that's it for today boys stay home stay safe once to go outside please wear a mask okay boys thank you very much see you in the next class